All right, on my house, my corbel up on top of my soffit is missing a chunk of this piece here. And it's this piece here that I'm missing on this last one. It's a little bit wider. So I'm gonna try to recreate that that's missing out of this little old piece of two by four. And I already traced it out. And I see if, I'm gonna see if I can uh, sand it down and get it to the right shape. I've never done this before, so it should be interesting. All right, not bad. I sanded this thing down pretty easily. It's not completely straight, but in the round part, you can see it's a little bit off there. Then I use this uh, other tool here. What's this thing called? Scroll saw. First time I ever used this too, and I went and I cut that indent here. And then I just got to do this one here. And that's just uh, to replicate that. All right, that's where I'm at. Not bad. For first time using a scroll saw, got to really hold on to that block. Shakes a lot. I just got to do the top curve and uh, should be done. Let's smooth this part out a little bit. All right, for the top to get that round, I just took it over the, to my, uh, my Royal B chop saw over there and I did three cuts on the top. That way when I go around this, I don't have to sit there for days trying to round that wood. No, I just have to get that radius. So I'll go and run this in here. All right, not bad. Not bad at all. All right, it's pretty good. There's the original. Okay, and where it broke, it broke right about right here. So I'm probably gonna have to trim some of this off. I won't know until I go up there and check, but I just wanted to get this, this profile pretty much. So just got to smooth this side out a little bit more. All right, just smoothed out the top. Looks a lot better. What I did is I just ran it up here on this belt sander and it smoothed it right out. Is it perfect? No, but it's close enough. And this thing's like 20 feet up, 25 feet up. So. If it's off a little bit, you're not even going to know. I just want to fill in the gap that it has where the piece broke off. All right, so that should be good. I'll show you where this is going to go up on top of the soffit. All right, here's the corbels on my soffit here. And it's this piece here that I'm missing on this last one. From down below, it doesn't look that bad, but you can see a dark spot. And that's why I made this piece. And it's gonna fit in there just perfectly. It's gotta cut a little bit off. You can see it's cut way back here. So that's why I need a mark where I need to cut this off. All right, I just cut it. It fits in there all right. It's a little bit proud, a little bit bigger than the rest. The, the other ones go kind of in a little bit more. I actually kind of like this better where it sticks out a little bit farther. Get a little more detail than that one. But uh, I gotta match it up a little bit. I think from down the ground level, you won't even be able to notice though. All right, went and trimmed a little bit more off, and now it fits in there a little bit better. At least it's flush and not sticking out. It just fills in the gap. All right, and that's what I'm looking for. I could go and sand it a little bit more. It's a little proud here, but. Like I said, you probably won't even notice it. And the thing's so old anyway, they're not perfect. So I think I'll just uh, primer this up. Some oil base primer on it and uh, paint it and then nail it up and be done. All right, put a coat of oil base primer on that and I'll wait for it to dry. Put on my top paint and I'll be ready to install that little piece. All right, there's the piece fitted, painted. And it looks pretty good. So job done. Like I said, it's a little bit, it sticks out still a little bit, but it's not bothering me too much. Could have grinded it down some more, but I think I'm good at that. I'm good at the way it looks now, so I'm happy. At least there's not a big hole there like before. 
All right, that's it for this video. Catch you guys in the next one.